Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I received questions about the issue of washing the hands and how can we connect that to uh, Islam and to reward and in order for people to be encouraged to continuously wash their hands and uh, be hygienic. Uh, when we look at it from the angle of intentions, uh, that's the way we can actually accumulate reward. You can do an act that is done habitually by people for other reasons than drawing near to Allah and they won't be rewarded for it. Uh, but when you have an intention that you're doing it for a particular reason to draw nearer to Allah then you'll be rewarded. For example, one feels tired in the afternoon and he just goes to bed and takes a rest. Well, he's rested but he wasn't rewarded. However, if he, before he puts his bed, his head on, uh, on the pillow, intends that he's going to sleep so that he can wake up for Salatul Qiyam, then that's uh, a different story. The intention here changed the result. The action is the same. Both people went to sleep. One was rewarded when, and the other one wasn't. Likewise, we can do this uh, or apply this to washing the hands. You can intend different things by virtue of which you will be rewarded. Number one, you can intend fulfilling your rights, the rights of your body upon you. The Prophet ﷺ informed us that our bodies have rights upon us. Now, one of its rights is that you take enough measures to protect it from becoming ill. Another intention is to intend not to harm others because the Prophet ﷺ forbade us from harming others. And one of these uh, ways of harming people uh, would be being a means of transmitting that disease to them. Another intention one can have is to fulfill a, a legislated means by the Prophet ﷺ and by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When a man came to the Prophet ﷺ and he had a camel, he said, my camel is outside, should I tie it? Or should I just rely on Allah? He said, go tie it and then rely on Allah. So we wash our hands because it's legislated to utilize worldly means. And then we trust Allah that none will befall us, none will strike us except that which he has predestined subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another issue is to coincide with the practice of the Prophet ﷺ. There are too many ahadith that give an indication that the Prophet's life ﷺ was all clean. For example, his instructions to us to clean our hands as soon as we wake up uh, from sleep. Him ﷺ washing his hands whenever he wanted to drink, whenever he wanted to eat. Him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, instructing us to perform wudu before we go to bed. All of these are practices of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And there is no doubt that whoever coincides with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will be rewarded for that. So now we can switch from washing our hands just because we're afraid of getting infected or from this disease transmitting to us, to washing our hands for this purpose with the intentions listed in this clip so that you will be rewarded and therefore you will be encouraged to wash your hands frequently. Let's teach this to our wives, our children, our loved ones. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to protect us all and to benefit us all. Assalamu alaikum.